Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to convert your times to their decimal equivalent. Now this tutorial assumes that you've entered your times properly. And to do that, you have to use a colon character to separate the hours from the minutes from the seconds, if you're using seconds. If you haven't used the colon character, then your times are not entered correctly. So this tutorial won't work for you. Now, the first step to understanding how to convert times to decimals is to understand that a 24 hour period is equivalent to one in Excel. So if I took a 12 hour period, that would be equivalent to 0.5. That's halfway through a 24 hour period. 1800 hours, that's three quarters of the way through a 24 hour period. So all I'm doing up here is removing the time format and applying the general format, which effectively removes any format applied to these values. Now half an hour, that's going to be a much smaller value. That's equivalent to 0.02. So as long as we understand that one is equivalent to 24 hours, then converting times to their decimal equivalent is actually quite easy. All we have to do is multiply the time by 24. So for example, over here, I'm going to multiply this time by 24. Now, initially, you don't get anything that makes sense. It's just returning another time. But the next step is important. The next step is to apply the general format. So now I have the decimal equivalent of that time. And that will work for all of the times in this list. And you'll see that this will work whether you enter times using the 24 hour format or the 12 hour format. Just be careful though, when you're using the 12 hour format, that you do leave a space between the minutes or the seconds and the PM or AM characters. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.